Good evening, I'm Matt George. It's been a rough season on the field for the Oakland Athletics. The club has the MLB's worst nine wins and 33 losses coming into tonight's game. And they're in fact off to one of the worst starts in MLB history. Not to mention their $60 million payroll is the lowest in the league and less than half of what 19 other teams are spending on their rosters. It just so happens that off the field is where most of the action is happening for this A's franchise. It was announced today that the franchise reached an agreement with Bally's and gaming and leisure properties to build a 30,000 seat stadium on the Tropicana Hotel site along the Las Vegas Strip. The project is estimated to cost $1.5 billion with the A's asking for $400 million in public financial support from the Nevada legislator. A vote on the proposal could come as early as this week. The agreement is subject to the public financing. If agreed upon, construction would begin next year with the venue set to open in time for the 2027 season. Meanwhile, in Oakland, the A's have a lease agreement at the Coliseum through 2024, meaning the club would likely play out the 2025 and 2026 seasons at Las Vegas Ballpark, which is a 10,000 seat stadium that houses the A's AAA affiliate Aviators. In Oakland this season, the A's are averaging just 9,449 fans per home game. That's the lowest in the MLB.